Welcome everybody to It Was Tuesday with your host James Chen, aka Jay Chenzor. Today we're going to talk about a little bit of data that I thought was really interesting and I apologize. Someone linked me to this data and I forgot who it was who linked me this data. I tried to find the tweet or the DM that showed me this and so if you were the one that actually linked me this data, uh, please uh, let me know. <laughs> But uh, what someone actually did very recently, just a week ago, uh, they actually scraped all the ranked data from CFN. Here are some findings and the data if you want it. So uh, I will zoom this in so you can actually see the text a little bit better here. Wow, I cannot shrink this side over here. All right, so uh, let's do it like this. This will work here. All right, so uh, this is from the Reddit user XJPH. So shout outs to XJPH. All the credit goes to him for all of this uh, CFN data here. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, che <laughs> checking out uh, the other uh, editors. Sorry, we were talking about editing before I started the stream here. Some people suggesting different editors uh, besides Adobe Premiere. Uh, but, um, so here, uh, XJPH mentions here, a few days ago, the subject of numbers and rank came up and to cut a long story short, it motivated me to write a web scraper that pulled down the entirety of ranking data from CFN. So I could take a look at it more closely than the tools on the Buckler website allow. So about two and a half days of scraping this guy site, I was rewarded with about seven gigs of JSON to crunch through. If you don't know what JSON is, JSON is just a uh, text data organizational format, basically. It's a way to save data as text that's easy to read and parse. And, uh, and basically, there's just billions of tools that already exist out there to help parse that kind of data. So uh, just going through some of the fun facts here, but you know, there's some really, really interesting graphs that will show up here. Uh, they mentioned that random is more popular than Aki in Rookie 1 and Rookie 4. Now, obviously, she's the newest character, so that's going to affect it uh, a lot. Uh, Ken and Ryu are each other's most popular pocket character. So again, this data, remember, the, the CFN data includes every character that a person uses. So if one player uses five characters, all five characters are in there as one user, right? So Ken and Ryu are each other's most popular pocket characters. So in other words, of everybody who plays Ken and Ryu, normally their pocket character is the other guy. But Ken and Kami, in general, are the most common pocket picks, which is interesting. Now, if you look at CFN data, Kami is a very popular CFN character. She's all over the place, and I think it's one of the reasons why a lot of people perceive her to be such a strong character in such high levels. And to be fair, she is really, really effective because she is very straightforward, and she does like exactly what you expect a character to do. You get Oki on all your knockdowns, you have good walk speed, you have good pokes, you have a way to change your jump arc, you have a DP, you have a plus on block spin knuckle that a lot of the lower level players aren't going to be able to react to. She's got, she's basically like in Street Fighter V, how I always said she was the best character to start with. She was like fundamental, the character uh, for Street Fighter V. In Street Fighter VI, not so much. Like she's not necessarily the character to represent Street Fighter VI because her drive rush isn't as strong. She's very starved for drive meter. Ken is clearly the best character as a go-to character. Like if I'm coming into Street Fighter and I'm just gonna play the character that's gonna help me learn the game the most, Ken is that character, right? But Kami is not a bad pick either. She's still, for me, like second or third as one of the best characters to pick for the purposes of learning the game. So uh, I'm not surprised to see that these two characters are two of the most popular, are the two most popular pocket picks for a lot of players. And of course, don't forget that when they say pocket picks, we don't know the order. These p might be people who started the game learning through Ken and Cammy, and then switched to someone else and found someone they like better and now are only exclusively playing the other character. But the fact that the majority of the players who have played more than one character 
Ken and Cammy being the two most popular other characters being played makes complete total sense. Uh, but from Iron 2 and up, Ken is consistently the most char popular character by an enormous margin. He is most popular in Bronze 2, in which a full 20% of the player base mains Ken. No surprise. <laughs> mm. Is there any shock to this at all? Ken is the most popular character no matter if he's good or not, okay? That's just facts, okay? He is really, really popular. And so, in a way, it's actually kind of important that I think Capcom makes Ken really strong. You know, in a weird way, the fact that Ken is the, in my opinion, the best character in the game, Ken! Ken, 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 Ken. That's right, I should be looking at this camera, not that camera. The fact that <laughs> Ken is actually the, uh, is, is, is so strong in the game might actually be a wise decision on Capcom's part to make sure that a lot of the people who are picking up the game stick with the game a little bit more, right? It, there's, there is some logic to that, uh, to, to making the character so strong. There is actually a logical reason to make the character strong. Um, of the 500 legends, 463 are unique accounts. So remember, again, not very many people who have multiple legend characters. Uh, this is a much higher proportion of unique accounts than in any other rank. Very few players are getting multiple characters to legend comparatively. Which is good because honestly, again, the way that this game has actually, you know, done the master point system has actually been, I mean, most people say is really accurate and really, really good because you have to, like, it's, you're not going to just find a good lucky streak to be able to get all the way up to the top. Masters is one of the harder things to actually grow in than, than ever before. Um... So population by rank, this is deduplicated considering only account, only an account's highest LP characters. So they scraped through the data, they erased all of the pocket characters. They erased all of the pocket characters and our uh, uh, picture fell off the wall. <laughs> picture fell off the wall. Uh, they've erased all the pocket characters and only have the mains uh, on on this data over here and this data obviously it's going to be kind of tough to look at over here because it's all just numbers don't worry this guy is the smart guy <laughs> he did what i used to do in my faqs i like this guy a lot <laughs> but here's all this information over here percentage of total top percentage blah 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 here's all this stuff and the number of players here top percentage just means everybody in rookie one everybody uh, is in rookie one or above and then in rookie two er, like 97.56 players are in rookie two above etc etc and then don't forget that you cannot get demoted uh, in these sections over here but that's why when you actually get down to platinum here this is where stuff starts to change a lot because your win streak bonus ends you can, you can be demoted now and that's where all the data changes but uh, rookie, rookie is the rank, is the rank before iron. You probably don't know what rookie is because when you got placed, you got placed above rookie. <laughs> but if you do really badly in your placement matches, you end up in rookie. Um, or if you pick new player option when you start at rookie. Oh, okay, okay. So if you don't, say, if you say I'm completely new to fighting games, they put you in rookie basically. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. But again, here's Master, as you can see over here, only 7.3% uh, of the players are in Master at all. Uh, but it is a fairly large number. It is a pretty decent number here. But again, the person made a bar chart and you are a genius and I love you to death. So if you actually look here, here's Rookie 1 through 5. 
a lot of people come in here and start on rookie and then whatever. And then, of course, because you can't get demoted here, a lot of players get kind of hard stuck at the bottom of iron, at the bottom of bronze, at the bottom of silver as well. That's why at the start of all of these is such a huge chunk of players because this is basically, the, the you know, you can't get demoted from over here. Uh, but as you can see, in almost every situation, it's, uh, it gets harder and harder as you go, of course. And then uh, Platinum, though. Look at this. Look how many players have made it into Platinum. Platinum is actually the, the largest number percentage of players. Platinum 1. So the number of players that are in Platinum 1, if you actually look at this, is 9.16%. So almost 10% of the players are actually in Platinum 1. That is the highest number of all of the ranks. So the majority of the players are in Platinum 1. Uh, as you can see here, huge amount of players. But then as you can see here, it gets a little bit harder and harder. And then once you finally get into Diamond, uh, what I'm suspecting, too, is a lot of people make it into Diamond and they're like, okay, all right, I'm done with rank. <laughs> or, all right, I made it into Diamond. That was a goal. Let's switch characters now. And then so we see a lot of situations where the first rank is where a lot of the players just kind of stop. Right, because obviously Diamond can actually be demoted into Platinum, but I imagine this must be a stopping point uh, for a lot of people. Um, oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, uh, the ranks here do, are not analogous to the ranks in Street Fighter V. Uh, for sure, uh, gold in Street Fighter V was stronger than gold in Street Fighter VI. So people saying in the chat that platinum feels like Street Fighter V gold. Yes, that is definitely true. Uh, diamond here, as you can see, very few people in Diamond V. And I also think a lot of this is because once you've made it to Diamond V, you are going to make the push for Master, right? And so that's why we just have this huge, giant influx of people going into Master and nobody in Diamond 5, because by the time you make it into Diamond 5, clearly you're good enough to make it in Master, and most people at this point will finish the journey into Master. Uh, so uh, that's the way, uh, that's what ends up with Master over here. So uh, XJPH, if I'm not mistaken, that was his name, XJPH. Uh, adds a little bit of his own thoughts here. There are a few patterns here that seem to be the results of the SF6 ranking system. The five ranks being the least populated is likely a result of them feeling a bit like home stretch, which is what I was talking about, uh, to get to the next league, plus the fact that each new league until platinum acts as a backstop, preventing anyone from ranking down. Gold 5 bucks this trend, being more populous than gold 2 through 4. But Gold 5 is unique in that the rank above is the first time you can get a league demotion. And also the first rank in which the win streak bonus stops, making it harder to climb up and away from Gold 5. So yeah, as you can see here, uh, Gold 5, interestingly enough, is, has more a percentage of the players here. So yeah, a lot of people make it into Platinum 1 and then probably drop back down to Gold uh, so, uh, quite often. Uh, Platinum 1 is, as is well known, the most populous rank of all. Much of this is likely as a result of the win streak bonus stopping, meaning those highly motivated by numbers go up, lose their motivation, and just park here. It is also, as previously mentioned, the first time you can league down, which could ha possibly have a chilling effect, causing people to not want to risk demoting to gold. So a lot of people just stop playing, <laughs> which is absolutely possible. Platinum 2 through Diamond 5 is a pretty steady decline in population, with Diamond 1 as an outlier, likely due to the entry into Diamond League, feeling like a good stopping place to many players. There is no de de demotion protection here, uh, or any other... Okay, he crossed this out. A couple of people have pointed out that placement matches can put you here, which would account for some uplift. Right, so a lot of people, maybe they just did their placement matches, got put there, and then never played... <laughs> Diamond 5 is the least populated of all ranks by far, being the home stretch, before, home stretch before reaching Master is probably a pretty significant contributor here, uh, coupled with the fact that you cannot rank down from Master back into Diamond 5. 
Ah, there he is. Hey, guess what, uh, audio listeners at home? It's that time again. Ah, I get to snuggle my cat. Oh, hi, Nathan. Oh, I can hear you purring. Hi, boy. Hi, boy. Hi, boy. My cats have been so snuggly the past few days. Yeah. What a good boy. Oh, he's trying to get away. Look at him. He's like, let go of me, daddy. Let go of me. Okay, there you go. Okay. <laughs> then we hit master rank. Oh, you are pressing on my mouse. I cannot use my mouse because you're pushing on my hand. Nathan is pushing on my hand. <laughs> uh, Nathan, Nathan. They are 10 years old. My cats are over 10 years old. Oh, you're going to knock down Optimus Prime. You're going to knock down Optimus Prime. Please do not, no, do not rub against Optimus Prime. Do not <laughs> rub against Optimus Prime, please. Please, please. Hi. <laughs> Good boy, good boy, good boy being nice, cuddly. Oh, right, the mouse, I gotcha. <laughs> Fair enough, okay. Uh, what am I trying to do here? Okay, there we go, all right. Oh, here he goes, lies down, he wants the belly rub. He wants the belly rub, all right, all right. We gotta do the cat distraction. I'm sorry, this, this just has to happen here, but I don't think anybody minds. Uh, is it this one here? Nope. Yes, it is this one. Here we go. Uh, 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 there we go. Hi, Nathan. Oh, cat distraction. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, oh. You are so happy. You are so happy. What a boy. I can definitely hear him purring. <laughs> and yes, there's Optimus Prime. Lego Optimus Prime. If you're wondering what Optimus Prime I'm talking about, about to get knocked down. Hi. Hi. See, secretly my cat is my, my, my secret weapon to hopefully get my Spotify listeners to actually uh, come and watch my YouTube video so they can see cute cat. They can see cute cat. Yeah, look at him rubbing his head against my microphone as usual. Uh, hi, buddy. Hi. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, what are you doing to my microphone? What are you doing? You are knocking my microphone down. And now you are kicking my mouse. And now, are you going to lie down for more belly rubs? Is that the goal here? No, no, no. Leave Optimus Prime alone. No, no touching Optimus Prime. No touchy. No touchy on Optimus Prime. No touchy. No touchy. I don't need you knocking down my Lego Optimus Prime here. No, oh, there you go. He wants more belly rubs. Oh, this guy. Look at this guy, dude. Look at this guy. Look at this chunk. What a chunk. What a chunk. Don't please don't turn on my PlayStation 4. There's no reason to do that right now. <sighs> Look at this guy trying to distract me from my work over here. I'm trying to run a stream here, Nathan. I'm trying to run a stream here, although I'm pretty sure. Most people don't mind this. They probably would prefer seeing this cat. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, look at you. Look at you rubbing your head into my hand all day. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh. <laughs> hi. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Oh, you like the ear scratch? You like the ear scratches? Oh. Yeah, you like that. I know you like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Can I get back to my stream now, Nathan? Can I get back to my stream now? Is this something that I can do? Is that is that cool? Are you okay with if I keep 
if I keep streaming right now, Nathan, can I get back to my discussion here? Is that cool? Is that cool, Nathan? Is that cool, Nathan? Oh, oh look at him. <laughs> Is it okay if I get back to my stream? Is it okay? Is it okay? Oh. 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 oh, oh. Okay. Ah. Oh. All right. Put this back up over here. He wants the belly rubs again. Now he's knocking over some my. Oh God! You're just. He's just trying to thwack my my KOF sodas off of the table right here. Jesus, Nathan. You have absolutely no chill with that tail, dude. The tail is the destroyer of worlds, I swear to God. Oh, I have another cat. <laughs> I have another cat. They don't do a very good job entertaining each other, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Uh, oops. Uh, yoink. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right. Let's get back to this. Then <laughs> we hit master rank. So let's actually take a look at this master rank data over here. Master rank sticks much more closely to the bell curve you'd expect from a normal distribution of skill levels. So yeah, you can see over here that, wow, somebody in master rank has actually dropped all the way down to 700 points. Oof. <laughs> Only one person has actually dropped all the way down there. Oof. But as you can see here, yep, a pretty standard bell curve distribution here. Uh, thank you, Faye, Faye Lorican. Thank you. Um, but yes, yes, uh, and he will mention that. But you know what? The interesting thing is, Factory Worker 1, when you say probably stop playing after reaching master, please take a look at these lines right here. Uh, for those of you listening, the one rank over here is 1450 to 1499, your score, and there are 8,408 players. But the next level is actually 1501 to 1549 with 8,896 players. XJPH has literally skipped 1500 here in this chart. As he explains here, the eagle eyed among you may have noticed that exactly 1500 is omitted from the graph. There are 4,820 master rank players with 1500 MR, most likely a result of it being the amount of MR you start with. So someone who reaches master league then stops, will just sit at that level. If you want to picture the graph with those players included, just extend the 1501 to 1549 bar to be 1.5 as long as it is now. Yes, you start at 1500. You start at 1500. There are slightly more players overall below 1500 MR than above. So 24,880 versus 20,695. That means MR is likely very slightly inflationary for those above the midline as new players enter adding 1,500 more points to the pool than more often will not lose. <laughs> I just messed up that sentence completely. This means MR is li likely very slightly inflationary for those above the midline as new players enter adding 1,500 more points to the pool then more often than not, we'll lose some of them to more skilled players. Okay, I don't know how to process that sentence. I'm sorry. <laughs> On average, the top players lead by a larger margin than the bottom players lag, but the very farther extremes of the bottom lag behind way more than the very top stands out in front. Poor guy with 703 MR. Interestingly, when omitting duplicate accounts, and only counting a player's highest MR character, the mean MR drops from 1500, which it statistically must be, since all players enter with that amount, to 1495. Right, so understand that every time a player enters master, they, end, they add 1500 to the total, and every person who wins, wins the same amount of points as the other person loses. So whatever points get added to the pool is exactly how many points will be in the total forever. In other words, uh, 
you, no one can ever gain 20 points while the other guy loses 7. So the total points will never fluctuate. You gain 15, the other guy loses 15. You gain 7, the other guy loses 7, etc., etc. So every time a new player adds 1,500 to the pool, the new total is the exact total of points in the entire master rank. And then the next player comes in, adds another 1,500 points to the entire pool. So yes, if you account for repeat, every player averages out to 1,500 because that's just how many players came in and put 1,500 points in there. So uh, you cannot derank from masters. You cannot derank from master. Uh, so that's something that Factory Worker 1 asks here. So again, if you omit the duplicate, uh, duplicate accounts, so in other words, people who have gotten more than one character and a master, uh, the mean actually drops to 1495. Those with multiple master rank characters must also be better than the average master rank player. So their alts sequester away some MR and lowers the average when they are excluded. This isn't surprising, but is interesting to actually see in the data. So any more he asks here, if there are any other questions here, uh, more data, uh, going to links of specific comments where I provide other slices of this data here. So, uh, oh, interesting. They have a control type by rank. Ooh. Let's see here. Wow, look at this. This is interesting. Classic versus modern by rank. I hadn't actually looked at this data here, but it's actually almost 50-50, like at the start. So at rookie one through five, it starts at 57% modern players. And then at rookie five, by then it actually gets to 50%. So if you look at it, every rank that it goes up, modern keeps dropping and classic keeps growing. So by the time we get to Iron, it's basically 50-50. And then at Iron 2 is when Classic finally starts taking over with 52.5 versus 47.5. And as we keep going, by the time we hit to, say, Gold, we're now at two-thirds at Classic and one-third at Modern. When we get to Platinum, we're at 75% Classic and 25% Modern. Diamond is now 83 versus 16% uh, or 17%. And then once we get to Master, it's actually 90% versus 10%. It's interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. So um, basically, the modern players aren't sticking around to get to the higher ranks as a lot of the classic players which might actually be an indication that although Master is helping onboard a lot of people, that they don't stay as long as the classic players. Very fascinating. There's a lot of theories that can be applied to this. Maybe classic players, once they get to a certain level, actually switch to, they start as modern and then switch to classic. So maybe some players, the reason why the percentage drops off is maybe that they, they started with modern down here, and as they reached a higher level, they just switched to classic, so their characters are no longer listed as modern, but they're listed as classic now. We don't know how much history these classic players have used modern. Uh, we don't know the history of how much of these classic players used modern on their way up here. But uh, there's a lot of theories. So, for example, uh, Bitfrost says, I would think it's mostly because most modern players are not returning SF players. Uh, maybe, or JNV says, maybe the moves lost by modern become too important at high ranks, et cetera, et cetera. But it really, really fascinating here. Really fascinating. And it's interesting that it's literally just a straight line. <laughs> like, this is about as straight line as you can get like from 57% in rookie one, all the way down. Like, I don't think the number ever goes up. The number literally drops, even in tiny bits. And I think the one time I saw it go up was literally, uh, yeah, 
Rookie 5 to Iron 1, which was from 50.09 to 50.65. But outside of that, like, which basically is negligible, it's always decreasing until the point we get to Master, where only 10% of the players are using Classic, uh, using Modern. Very fascinating. It's actually really cool. Really cool data to see over here. And then, uh, let's see, players by number of characters at master rank. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> so, in other words, 70% of the masters, players in masters, are only using one character. So, the majority of them, 70% of them only have one character. 16% of the players have two characters in master. And then, predictably, it starts to really drop down. Three characters is only 6%. Four characters is only 3%. Five characters, 1.5. Six characters is even less than 1%. And it keeps dropping all the way down. But, interestingly enough, <laughs> uh, between 20 and 21, it actually increases because these 82 players... <laughs> who have actually gotten every character to master, every single character to master, are gonna be people obsessed with that goal. So, you know, if you've gotten to 20, you're getting to 21 by that point. So a lot of people are probably at 20. So actually between 19 and 20, it actually increases as well because a lot of these 20 players probably got Rashid to master and then just haven't gotten Aki to master yet. So 35 players have gotten Rashid there and then are just missing Aki, basically, more, more than likely. And honestly, might be just because Aki is actually kind of difficult. And a lot of them, yeah, a factory worker one says they're all streamers. Probably, probably the majority of these guys are streamers over here. We might be able to name all 82 of these people if we think about it carefully. Uh, but yeah, interesting that... Uh, 70% of the, the characters in Master are, are, are one player, uh, are one players. But uh, a lot of the, um, sorry, I said that wrong. 70% of the characters in Masters are unique to the player. That is the only character that they've gotten to Master. And then from there, obviously, it starts to drop off. But 16% with two characters in Masters is actually pretty impressive. Is, is actually uh, might actually be a little more than I would have expected it to be. Uh, but again, neat data here uh, as well. Uh, let's see here. Uh, rank populations character counting only players active this month. Interesting. Okay. So we actually only look at players who have actually played only in the last month. Uh, oh, I see. He doesn't have the graph chart. He doesn't have the uh, the, uh, the the graph bar over here. Uh, but I mean, it's still pretty similar to what we expect. Uh, it still follows most of the curve that we're expecting. Uh, but the fact that Master has twelve point seven percent compared to. 7% of the total players who have ever played the game. So in other words, obviously, players in Master are going to be just more active in general because they're clearly dedicated to the game. <laughs> they're clearly dedicated. So there you go. Again, some really interesting data here. Nothing, I think, that's super, super shocking. Most of it is pretty much what we are looking into, but it's just fascinating to look into because I saw a lot of people in the chat that are just like, I just love this kind of stuff. I love this information. So I just kind of wanted to share it with you guys. Again, all the data was uh, farmed by XJPH. Uh, I'm just using his content for my own content. Ha ha, ha ha. No, but uh, honestly, major shout outs to XJPH uh, for doing all this, uh, for grinding out all this data and you know, providing this publicly so that I can talk about it. Uh, that's, you know, in, in um, so I can talk about the, 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 the data over here. And I think that's really cool. Wow, 500, so do you do in 50 MR increments? Dang, really? <laughs> 
that is uh that is crazy here uh but yeah there you go so that's all the data there uh that i have so um Hope you found that as fascinating as I did. Uh, oh, the link, of course. Good call. Uh, did I accidentally close the tab? Did I close the tab? Why would I have done that? That was weird. Um, hey, that's the nature of the business these days, man. Transformative content is what they call it where you take someone else's content and then turn it into your own content, which is all TikTok does. Why does TikTok have so much content of people just watching other people's content? It's the dumbest thing in the world. But anyways, uh, I just put the link in the chat. I'll put the link in the description below as well. Uh, so you guys will see that as well. But again, very fascinating data. So if you guys want to look at that data yourself, go and, and, and uh, check that out. Uh, so you can actually look at all the data yourself and process the data in your own way. I know Polk's been talking about analyzing data and stuff like that. So this is a great, good place for him to start on some, uh, cool, fun data. Uh, to be frank, they, they all taking Street Fighter 6 content to make that content. Yeah, basically. So it's all Capcom's content in the end. So, um. Yeah, it'd be really interesting to see if there was a way. It, it, it'd be sick if he could actually publicly put it out there. But the hard part is, obviously, to update so constantly. He would have to keep updating it as it goes. And again, that was 7 gigabytes of JSON data. And again, JSON data is all text. And if you know how much text it takes to get to seven gigs, that is a lot of data to process. <laughs> that is a lot of data to process. So um, I want to see data on what buttons are pressed at round start. That is a fascinating question, uh, Necromancy Black. That is a fascinating question. But there you go. Uh, yeah, just interesting C CFN data. Again, nothing super shocking. Just fascinating to see and to kind of reaffirm what we, you know, what we pretty much would have expected in those situations. The modern classic one was actually, although in the end it's like, yeah, okay, I kind of expected that. It was still really cool to see that. Yes, indeed, that is how it is working out. All righty. Okay, thank you guys for tuning in for this little CFN data here. Again, shout outs to XJPH. It is all his work uh, and doing there. So again, all credits to him for even having the for even me having the ability to read to you a lot of the data here. And that's why I also wanted to make sure that I read his words because I wanted to make sure his thoughts were also conjoined with his data uh, as well. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. For those of you here on uh, YouTube, uh, I'm going to do another match analysis over here. So please take a look out for that. Uh, but uh, for those of you here on Twitch, don't go anywhere. We will be keeping on going. Uh, but again, thank you guys for tuning in. Leave comments below on the data yourself and you know what, anything about the data that actually surprises you or if it's all just what you expect. But uh for the day that this podcast graced your ears was the most important day of your life. But of course, as always, for me, it was Tuesday. <laughs>